Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. A very quick look at the US there. There you can see we actually, we briefly touched on the all time ever high yesterday, but we didn't get a close above that. Today we're edging a little bit higher as well. We're currently at 16.591 and it's running about um, 8.23 in the morning UK time. Uh, but today's the big day, non-farm payrolls, um, anything uh, between uh, 120,000 to 220,000 jobs, depending on how many different analysts you have a look at. Um, the expectation is 200. Uh, there's some commentators who who are pretty much saying that the expectation now, the forecast realistically should be about 220. Um, but we'll see when the uh, when the figures come out. Um, but obviously, um, too strong a figure will make it look like they are more likely to raise rates sooner rather than later. So you might get a short-term spike up and then a, a move back down. A real weak figure. Um, might have that spike down, but then the adage would be, well, they're not going to raise rates anytime soon. So it, it promises to be quite an interesting session. As long as it does not come in as expected, um, then you're going to get a, a little bit extra volatility if, it's if it comes out wildly different from expectations. If it comes in about 200,000, um, you know, I think the market will probably react to it relatively positively, but uh, you won't get those volatile moves, which so many traders do tend to, to like. So if we have a look at the UK 100, uh, it is floating around the potential support. This will be strategic in the next couple of sessions at 6666. Uh, very interesting formation yesterday. We had actually quite a strong sell off yesterday, but a push right above that potential resistance slash support level there. So I think 6666 will uh, be important again today. If we have a look at Japan 225, I can see the dollar yen is a bit flat today. It is bouncing around at another strategic level around about 14,977. This should be the level that people will be looking at today. And if we fast forward on to uh, dollar yen, um, as you'll be able to see there, um, very similar picture to Japan 225. We are trading above potential resistance at 103 spot 77, and uh, it's now reversed and could act as potential support. So this, as ever, is strategic. Looking at crude oil, it's a little bit of a rebound yesterday. Um, bearing in mind it's had a bad couple of sessions. Real strong session yesterday. Push higher a little bit again today. Potential support at 100 spot 60. Potential resistance at 103. Bang on the nose. And if we have a look at gold, gold is not really doing a whole amount. It's trading below potential support at 12.95. Uh, sorry, potential resistance now. It was broken support. That's now reversed. We're going to be getting a death cross on the moving averages uh, over the next couple of sessions by the looks of things. Technical indicator wise, we are seeing the slow stochastic there is slightly oversold, but it has not yet given a signal for a reversal. Uh, so that means the next potential support is around about 12.67. So um, interesting levels there on gold. Euro dollar and cable have been feeling the pain yesterday after the ECB didn't cut rates, but indicated that extraordinary measure could still be taken if necessary. Basically, they're keeping that ace in the hole until they really need it. But that is pushing Euro dollar down to 37.09. Euro dollar is where a lot of people will be looking at today during the non-farm payrolls figure. Um, obviously, a positive figure uh, would be strong dollar positive. A uh, very strong figure uh, and then, uh, as in an early, uh, an early indication of a rate hike. Uh, in 2015 rather than 2016 for US. I think you see some big moves happening here in Euro dollar. So keep an eye on this pair. We are trading below potential support at 37.09. So next potential support is 36.45. Finishing up with cable. Uh, cable is also a little bit weak today. Um, bouncing around about the 55 period SMA. Slapped by the middle of two ranges. Not as exciting as Euro dollar to be honest. Potential support 65.19. Potential resistance 67.44. So, non-farm payrolls, make sure you guys got your alarms set. That's at 1.30 UK time today. Uh, if you go to support and live trader events, you'll be able to sign up to our live webinar. Uh, I strongly recommend you guys attend that. Our Chief Market Analyst, Michael Hewson, will be talking extensively about the figure um, before and after, and pretty much live as well as it comes out, and looking and monitoring the impact of that figure live. Um, this is the figure that's going to dictate um, where the markets are going to go next. So very, very important figure. Make sure you don't miss that. Keep it on the chart forum as ever and insights to get hints and tips from our global analyst team. And join me again on Monday to see what happened next.